So I'm going to talk about the chapter A summary communicating and collaborating with social media. So the chapter eight addresses the way that teachers and students can use the social media technologies to share ideas and information in classrooms and online learning environments. So it's very good for the teachers and students. Then I will go to the learning outcomes. So after studying for this chapter, you the students need to be able to learn these four points. The first one is describe how teachers can use communication and social networking technologies as teaching and learning tools. The second one is examine the emails, text messaging, and Twitter as information exchange for teachers and students. The third one is understand how teachers can enhance communications and learning using blogs. The third, the fourth one is to examine wikis as collaborated and team-based learning formats for students and teachers. And then I will jump to, jump to the microblogging back ch channels. I will not introduce this more. It's just some introduction to this chapter concepts. And with some examples here. And then go to the first point is the digital communication between teachers and students. It talk about how the technology common funding schools are discussed in this chapter. It, it has including the email and blogs and also the online discussion and the wikis. Also these tables is the comparison of social media technologies. It list this the this some types of the technology is the purpose and others. And then I will jump to the synchronous and asynchronous communications. So it just introduced two terms. The synchronous communications is occur in the real life. And, and then asynchronous. Asynchronous communication involves time delays, like an email message or online discussions, something. Then it's the social networking for educators. The social networking is a technology based on information. And then it can be defined as a set of relations among network members. And here, uh, it just it is the practice, practice things about writing and communicating with social media technologies. It has the lesson, lesson outline and also it introduced the teaching with technologies here. And then here's a term called a social networking for educators. It means that many teachers engage in educational and professional networking and when this practice is online so it will be called with this term here is tag 2 8.1 it introduced the twitter the twitter how is the twitter used for the teacher and how is how the how useful for how useful is the twitter for teachers yeah. it shows some examples and also i think just some examples here then it talk about there are many productive use of social networking as an educator. The first one is the teacher to teacher discussion about curriculum and instruction. Then is the books, book groups and the literature circles. Then is the linking with educational policy and reform organizations. The fourth one is exchanging information about educational research. And the fifth one is the group editing of projects and writing. Then it jumps to integrating digital communication into teacher. And it talks about the teachers use digital communication and social media in their professional work in several ways. The first way, the first way is talk about the teaching beyond the school day, and then talk about how to engage the students for team to learn. And here's the figure about a teacher that posts a chemistry class website. Then they talk about sharing information with families and about 
teaching have the communication system that within the classroom and the student's family and then help them a lot. <coughs> then it's the building learning communities. So it talk it it talks about the digital communication invites students to actively participate in a community of learners who are exploring topics of interest. Then it's the energizing students. It's a digital communication system open multiple possibilities for students to write to you and to each others. And then we jump to the publishing the student work. So it's also a system that can invite students to publish and display work from the classroom at home. And so the classroom newspaper owns letters that teacher once produced with the school's copy machine become a new experience when published online because this uh, point here, the reasons why this happened. Then it jumps to the big title, using email and messaging as a teacher. It's also very important to the teachers because this is a way to help communicate with the students. And then the first one is, the first subtitle is the understanding the text, big and text items, text, text systems. So it just show how to text to the students here. And then here's the other subtitle is the strategies for using email and texting. So this is this is used for how to use the email for official communications. And then the he said talk about open email connections to libraries using and universities and then talks about the, how to hold an online office hours. Then it's a big title to talk about how the blogs for teachers and students. <coughs> So teacher or classroom blocks have become a part of the educational resource of every subject area and all grade levels is very important. It can help to update the blocks to publicize educational activities in three ways the teacher. So here's the three ways. Right. And then Come to this part, creating your own teacher's blog. Let's show how to create your own blog for students. And then it's, it will also give some key point about teachers to use blogs for communication in the following areas. The first one student is student learning, and then the second one is student and family communication. Third one is the professional networking and then it's the instructional opportunities, the first one. It's also important. Then it's designing the decisions for teacher blogging. And then it has the content posting is what uh, and how often new content appears on the site. The reader response is the participation of readers who read or listen to the blog material. An audience is who may access our website. And then the authorship is who creates content on the site. After this part, the next part is the example of blog de design and the de decisions by teachers. I will come. Here is just talk about how talk about how to create a blog that makes you the director of communications, make a decision for content posting. And here's some options here. Then the big subtitles is the strategies for moderating online discussions. And then there's some ideas to help you, help you become an insightful discussion leader for 
The first one is focused on issues that have meaning to students, and the second one is just the importance of active, thoughtful participation. After this, then, then the third one is provide thoughtful and supportive feedback. And then the three, fourth one is to choose choose language thoughtfully. The fifth one is to establish it, it adequate adequate for online conduct. Then is develop an online recording, de develop develop an online reading response form for students. Here is another title that calls the that talk about the wikis for collaborating team-based learning. It shows it has including several points here. It's like a wiki, wiki travel and then wik wik dictionary and then wiki hall. And here's a page that is from the resource for history teachers wiki. Wiki technology helps a lot yeah, in our real life. And also it supports the team-based learning. It is an increasing popular instructional approach where students collaborate to solve problems in the process of discovering academic concepts and constructing knowledge. And then here's how to build a standards wiki. So it's a, the standards wiki is a collaborative learning activities for teachers and the students. And then here is some example of the standards wiki. Then it's create the wiki text and wiki quest. So we this is the wiki text and the wiki quest is all important, so important for teachers. Helps a lot for the teaching. And then it's the strategies for using wikis with students. And here's some strategies I will talk about. The first one is choose student roles, and then the second one is peer wikis with te textbooks. And then it's watch for inappropriate or plagiarized material. And then the fourth one is provide assessment criteria for student work. Here's all the strategies. And then here's a technology transformation lesson plan. It gives uh, full examples of the web communication tools about how to read and how to write. And I think here's the, here's the final scenes. So I just completed chapter summaries. And then thank you for your guys to listen.